Hey there, what's going on? It's Lisa here, Raw Food for Kids. And um, I actually wanted to talk about a few things uh, going on vacation, being uh, a very high raw, on a very high raw lifestyle, and having eaten quite a bit more cooked food than I usually do. I kind of wanted to talk about how I felt and, you know, how I feel now. And I've been getting a couple of uh, comments in regards to, you know, vacations and, and stuff like that and kind of getting off track maybe with your, with your diet. Um, and someone had asked me a question. I thought it was really good. So I thought I'd kind of make it like a Q and A cause it's kind of like what I wanted to talk about anyways. So this is, uh, this is the Q and A. Here's the question. I find the hardest times to get back to my good habits is after vacation and holidays. How do you handle holidays and the traditional foods like Thanksgiving? Um, that's a great question because I think, uh, you know, in the beginning when you're first uh, starting to kind of clean up your diet, um, it could be very hard. It's challenging for, for myself uh, nine months into eating a high raw um, lifestyle to not be tempted by all that food. I mean, obviously when you're in the comfort of your own home, um, you know, it's much, much easier to stay on, on track because obviously you control what you buy at the supermarket. If you don't have it in the house, then you're less likely to, to eat it. That's why it's a great idea to just clean out your pantry, clean out your refrigerator and just fill it with lots and lots of things that you want to eat. And, um, you know, if you, you're still eating some cooked foods, eat healthier options, just slowly start to transition uh, closer and closer to where you want to be. But when you go on vacation and when you're, you know, at a, a, it's a holiday and you're at friend's house, um, that could be a lot, lot harder. And that's where, you know, when Jen and I went on the cruise, we told ourselves ahead of time, you have to kind of prep yourself, you know, how comfortable are you going to be, um, you know, for instance, when I went on the cruise, I knew I wasn't going to be able to be 100% wrong, I mean, I could have if I really wanted to, but, you know, I didn't want to, I'm not there yet where I can just walk past something and it's there and I know that I could have it and, and not be tempted and just feel, uh, you know, because I wanted to have a good time and, um, you know, I knew that probably if I had some of the stuff that I had before, I probably wouldn't taste the same. I wouldn't enjoy it the, the same way. So I told myself at a time that, hey, you know, let's let's do this and for the morning, for the lunchtime, and you know, in the evening time, let's kind of treat ourselves. And um, and in our mind, we we agreed we were okay with that. And I knew once we got back home, we were gonna get right back on track. So, um, I think, you know, in that, in holiday situations, you know, I think you need to just find out what are you comfortable with? You know, if, you, if you're not comfortable with eating turkey, but you're okay with eating, you know, a meat substitute, like uh, last Thanksgiving is kind of when Jen and I started to transition to more of the vegan. And, you know, I bought like one of those tofurkey things. Um, it actually didn't taste half bad. I was pretty impressed with it. Um, instead of eating the meat, but you know, maybe you just eat the veg to cook vegetables, or you know, maybe you have a little. Tell yourself, you know, I'm just gonna take a little taste of each thing, and then I'm gonna eat a big salad. Um, so I think it really just comes down to what you're comfortable with. I think the longer that you start to go on this raw food path, you start to realize that you do enjoy eating uh, cleaner and uh, don't really enjoy those foods as much anymore because you just kind of simplified everything. And I've just realized that the, the, the longer I continue doing this, it, it does get a little easier. Um, I mean, on the cruise, I probably ate more stuff than <laughs> I needed to, but, you know, I'm a healthy individual, and, um, you know, I don't regret anything that I ate, but I have to say that most of the stuff that, um, that we did try... Jen and I, um, it really didn't taste the same as I remembered it, and um, and it actually was a good experience to do that. Um, I don't think it's good to torture yourself. You know, you should never torture yourself if you're you know trying to be 100% raw and you're not quite there and you feel like you need to 
to eat something to satisfy a craving or whatever, I mean, you know, maybe you do that once and then you realize, okay, you know, I got out of my system, just get right back on track. So we're all humans, we all make mistakes, and, um, you know, at the end of the day, I think most people are doing this to be, um, to be healthy and to feel better. So, um, so it was good that we, we, we did, um, you know, try a couple things, because again, it made us just realize that, you know, it, it wasn't even that big of a deal, you know, it was like, you know, I don't even miss this, it didn't even taste that great anymore, so, um, that was pretty cool, but I have to say that, uh, since coming back, being really thrown off schedule, not sleeping, you know, um, regular hours, still probably got about eight hours sleep, but just totally off schedule, like a, more of a two in the morning to ten in the morning, um, schedule, and, uh, and just, you know, eating these cooked foods, I do feel that, um, really off whack, uh, when I eat really, really clean, I, the biggest thing I notice is mental clarity, and, uh, I have to say, I've been feeling pretty foggy <laughs> lately, um, just kind of a bit out of it, um, I'm sure that had to do with, you know, bread, you know, had a few sandwiches, some rolls at dinner time, um, did have some dairy, we did a lot of vegetarian, um, stuff, so, you know, sometimes at night we might have, we had like a vegetarian pasta as opposed to the meat or anything like that, so, uh, you know, dairy really, when you haven't had dairy in a long, long time, um, you know, it, that's the first thing that you can, you notice a difference with, if you just eliminate the dairy, um, right away you'll start to kind of think a lot more clear. And uh, just consuming the dairy on the boat, um, I can just tell you that I, I really, really did notice that. So um, I don't know. I don't. I haven't really had too many cravings since I've been back um, home, as far as you know, cookies or cake or any of the stuff that we had. Um, I think I was just so happy to get home and just eat fruits and vegetables <laughs> that my body's just like so satisfied right now. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I think, I think actually right now I, I, I feel a bit like I'm detoxing, um, a little, a little bit on the low energy. I think that my body's just trying to kind of get back on track. Um, so, you know, if, if you, if you're the type that, uh, you know, is, is on healthy on occasions, you probably wouldn't even notice a difference, but, um, that's the cool thing is, is the raw, the raw lifestyle, the high raw, um, you know, it's really about baby steps and working your way up, and nine months in, I mean, I felt like we could take a, a little, uh, break, and, uh, and it was fine, but, you know, you just have to do what you're comfortable with. We're, we're comfortable with it. We can live with it. We're, you know, seven days and we're back on track. And, um, <clears throat> but I, I do have to say that I do feel it, feel a difference having eaten that way and, um, and now going back to where I am now. But as far as social situations, um, you know, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll have to see, like, Thanksgiving, what I'll probably do. I don't know. I don't see myself even eating any kind of tofurkey or anything like that because, honestly, that's probably less healthy than the, the meat. <laughs> just because it's so, it, it's like, uh, it's processed, you know, it's just, it's made to look like turkey and it's a great substitute if you didn't want to eat the meat, but at the same time, it's so processed that you're probably better off eating you know, like an organic turkey, if you could get your hands on that, but, um, anyways, do what you feel is comfortable, I'm not sure where, what I'll be doing for Thanksgiving, um, I tell you, I probably, I have no interest really in the meat, uh, but I want to eat turkey, I'll probably just eat some of the sides, um, I'll probably have some cooked stuff, but, um, I'll probably just load up on a big salad, do you find that if you kind of fill yourself up ahead of time at the house, if you know you're going somewhere, and you're not quite sure what, what's going to be there, are you going to be tempted, just, uh, just, you know, down a big old smoothie or already eat and go full and then just say, you know, uh, you probably won't be tempted at all, but, um, you know, if you are, you'll probably just have a little taste of something. So anyways, I uh, kind of feel like I rambled a bit, but <laughs> kind of got off track, but, um, anyways, 
I hope that helped. I wanted to kind of just touch on that a little bit and um, about the cooked food. So you, you can notice a difference, like I said, just uh, the cleaner you get, the, I think the more sensitive your body um, gets and, uh, and handles things differently. So uh, I, I encourage everybody to eat their fruits and vegetables and just do things little by little and uh, do what you feel comfortable. Don't, don't beat yourself up. If you get off track, just get right back on track. I'm right back on track. So, um, and if you're in social situations, just, uh, you know, prep yourself ahead of time and uh, tell yourself what you're going to be comfortable with. And if you do that, I find that, you know, you don't feel guilty, you don't feel like you missed out on anything. So, um, anyways, that's it. And uh, remember, always eat happy foods. And uh, I'm getting ready to pick up Mackenzie from first day of school. And uh, my mom's coming over because uh, my mom was going to pick her up. And she said, no, no, mom, my mama picked me up. Mama picked me up, so I'm going to pick her up. Anyways. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.